Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Beyond Science 2, it's Mike Chen. Of course, we're going to be talking about food in this video. You guys know how much I love to travel and eat. Okay, I, I only travel so I can eat. I think I may have a problem. Anyway, most of the time I love street food, I love buffets, I love meals where I can feel like I got my money's worth afterwards. But, I mean, I've heard about these super expensive food items, like a sundae with actual gold on it. But why do I want to eat gold? Is, is gold a delicious condiment? Can gold replace mayonnaise in a tuna salad sandwich? How about I eat the sundae and I just keep the gold? But for those of you who are into the golden sundaes and the caviar burgers, here are seven of the most expensive meals in the world. Number one, Sublimotion. Sublimotion was opened only two years ago at the Hard Rock Hotel in Ibiza, Spain by a chef named Paco Roncero. It is said to be the first gastronomic show in the world and is supposed to stimulate the five senses and give you an experience that you can only understand when living it in person. This dining experience will run you about 1,700 euros or about 1,900 US dollars. So I could afford that if I somehow just swim to Spain, uh, walk to the restaurant, walk back and swim back home. After saving up by eating ramen for a year, the room can only seat 12 diners and combines food, art and technology together for an awe-inspiring three-hour experience. Number two, Masa, a place I've actually been to. Not like eating there, I, I walked past it because I was on my way to the bathroom. Anyway, Masa is in New York City. This dining experience is around $595 a person, which is more than $100 more expensive than it was in 2011. This place was opened in 2004 by a man named Masayoshi Takayama, who had always had a deep appreciation for food. After training under sushi master Sugiyama Toshiaki, he was inspired to start his own place. Masa is meant to be simple, subtle, and beautiful. It's a beauty that isn't affected by time or social change. There's no menu and no choice afforded to customers, so you basically subject yourself to the restaurant's will. But the beautiful dishes like toro and caviar, sea trout in a shabu shabu broth, and shaved summer truffles pressed onto sushi rice will leave you with no complaints. Until you get the check. Next, we have a restaurant started by a French chef named Guy Savoy who moved his restaurant to the Monet de Paris in 2015, which is an iconic 18th century building with windows overlooking the Louvre. That already sounds pretty expensive on its own. One of the restaurant's set menus is called Innovations and Inspirations. In 18 sequences, which is a whopping $525, you will receive foods like oysters, caviar, roasted lobster, and artichoke soup with black truffles. If you're feeling kind of cheap, there's also another Guy Savoy location in Las Vegas where they have the Innovation Inspiration menu for a much cheaper rate of $375. That's still more than I would ever pay for a meal though. So yeah, it's a little cheaper and you get to pretend you're in Paris if you want to because you got that fake Eiffel Tower in Vegas. Number four, Joao Rubuchum. You know what else you can eat in Vegas besides a cheaper version of Guy Savoy's Innovation Inspiration and the awesome buffet that is the Bacchanal? There is also Joao Rubuchum, which is the definition of French perfection. A three Michelin starred restaurant that caters to a sophisticated palate. The Dika station menu worth $425 includes delicious dishes like caramelized quail, seared duck for guac, and sweet bread. Not only is the food amazing, the restaurant is also beautifully designed to look like a luxurious art deco townhouse complete with a lush garden terrace and marble floors. Number five, Alain de Casa of Plaza Athene. This is one of Alain Ducasse's many restaurants. It reopened in 2014, and in February of this year, he reclaimed three Michelin stars for this restaurant. One menu called the Jardin Mirror menu costs about $425, which includes three half courses, cheese, and a dessert. And if you want to pair any of the food or cheese up with a fine wine, then you're gonna have to pay for that separately. Next up is a restaurant that has had a history of great chefs. The Maison Peaks in Valence, France is currently owned by Anne-Sophie Peaks, a French chef whose grandparents created the restaurant. A prefix dinner there costs $350 a person and it is said that her cuisine, with its sensitive touch, is proud to be feminine in what is still a man's world. I didn't know that food could taste feminine or masculine. Anne Sophie is the fourth woman in the world to earn three Michelin stars for her food, although she never went to any formal culinary training schools. All the knowledge she gained about cooking came from her parents and grandparents, who were all great chefs of their time. 
This next restaurant I've actually been to and eaten at, Per Se, which is in the heart of New York City. Actually, it's right by Massa. Per Se is a restaurant started by Thomas Kelly, an American chef who owns two, three Michelin star restaurants. In this particular restaurant, the price of a nine course prefix menu is $325 a person. From caviar to foie gras to lobster, this tasting menu has it all. And it has a reputation of being one of the finest, most exclusive, obviously most expensive restaurants in New York City. But according to a recent New York Times review, however, this restaurant is as horrible as it can get. But I'll tell you how I feel about it because I've actually eaten here. And no, I did not do the tasting menu for like $400. You know that's excluding drinks and tip because I don't know about these fancy restaurants in France, whether they actually have to tip or not because I don't think in Europe you have to tip. But in America, you've got a tip. In a fancy restaurant like that, usually the tip is 20%. So a tasting menu for one easily goes way over $400 even before any drinks are added. So obviously I did not have the tasting menu. I went there for their dessert tasting menu. This is actually, uh, I wanna recommend to you guys, you really should try this if you are ever in New York City. So Per Se has the seating section that's, uh, that's away from their main dining hall. I think they call it a parlor. And you can go there without a reservation, sit down and order anything that's on the tasting menu uh, a la carte. And you can have their spectacular, I think it was five or six course dessert tasting menu. I believe the dessert tasting menu was around uh, $50, $60 per person, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. And it goes really beyond five or six courses because they come and offer you coffee or tea. And at the end of your meal, they come with a box of chocolate truffles and they offer it to you. And you can grab as many as you want. So most people will probably only take like one or two. I asked for the whole box. Yeah, I got no shame. I asked for the whole box. They offered it to me. I'm like, how many can I take? They're like, as much as you want. I said, can I have the whole box? And then they said, well, no, why don't you just choose some and, and then we'll see where you go from there, which is just insulting. I mean, if you're gonna offer me as much as I want, then give me the box. So I basically chose 90% of all the chocolates there. I think there was 20 some chocolates there. I chose over 90% of it. I ate it all. And the whole experience was awesome because it overlooks Central Park. It's just beautiful. So if you want to experience a three Michelin star restaurants, but you don't want to actually pay for the expensive tasting menu, that's what I would suggest. Also, I get it, $50, $60 per person, that's still a lot of money. So, I mean, it's not a casual thing. Definitely plan a special occasion and then go there. I'm sorry guys if I mispronounced any of the names in this video because they were really, really hard to pronounce. I try my best. Also, let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to one of these restaurants or have you ever had a golden Sunday? Thanks for watching everybody. See you later.